What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy Tariq Ali, and I'm in a good mood. You know why I'm in a good mood? Because I'm going on a date. I got a hot date, girl. Hot date. Hot. My first. <laughs> What is wrong with me? I'm going on my first date since my breakup today and I'm really excited. But without talking about my breakup too much, okay? Because like we did not come here to talk about my breakup, okay? Like, ugh, can we not? Like, can we not? Can we do that another time? But yes, I am like two or three months into my, well, after my breakup. And I'm at a point now where I am done. I don't wanna say what I'm done with. I wanna say what I'm ready for. I'm ready for the part where I really focus on me. I was saying that I wanted to focus on me, but I really that I wasn't putting as much energy as I wanted into that. Like, you know, you're like, oh, I'm focusing on me. No, you're just saying that, girl, because you're single. But like, how are you actually focusing on you? <laughs> so I really want to make this a priority of like me relearning how to be with myself, how to love myself, how to show up for myself. And so when I was thinking about that, I was like, okay, well, I should start doing like dates, you know, with myself. And of course, I've like spent a lot of time alone, you know, in this time after the breakup, but it wasn't with the intentions of it being a date. And so today is the first day that I have the intentions of being um, on a date with myself. A part of this dating process, something that was really important to me was reclaiming things that I loved before my ex. There's a lot of things before my relationship that I loved that when I got in a relationship, I started to share it with my partner. Um, and then after the breakup, I just like, let those things die with the relationship. And one of those things is French. Before I met that man, I spoke French, okay? His first language was French, and so in the relationship, we spoke a lot of French. We spoke French every single day. So when we broke up, I just didn't speak French for like weeks. It just reminded me of him, and it made me really sad. And not only that, but the restaurant that I'm taking myself to is a restaurant that I loved before him, but it became our restaurant in the relationship because it was just our go-to place. We know the owners every time we came in. If I went there alone, she'd be like, oh, where's your boyfriend? I was going there before him. So it's like, I today is about not only offering love back to myself and getting to know myself, but it's also about reclaiming what was mine before. And so I've been trying to do that with French. And so I want to start my date even before I leave the house because that is the love that I can give to myself, not only at a restaurant or out in the world, but all of the time. I've been using Babbel again. I don't know if y'all know about Babbel, but I told y'all about Babbel a long time ago. And the funny thing is, I'm really happy that they're sponsoring this video because I used Babbel before I even was like, a thing on YouTube. Like I used to use Babbel um, way back in 2016 and 2017 before I studied abroad in Paris to like get familiar with the language even more before going there. But Babbel is a software that you can use to learn languages. The reason I love using Babbel is because I think a lot of times we think that you have to sit down for like hours at a time for something to have impact, but it doesn't. Like you can do something for like 10 minutes every day or 10 minutes every three hours and it will have just as much impact as if you sat down for four hours. Um, and so that's why I like Babbel because it really helped me like years ago um, and now it's helping me just like make a routine of always having French around me because honestly, there's nobody else in my life that speaks French. No, <laughs> it was my ex and me um, and his family. So this is my way of keeping French alive in my life and also just reclaiming what was mine before. You know, he didn't give this to me. You know, I gave this to myself years ago and I wanna make sure that I have a connection to it still because it meant something to me then and it means something to me now. Um, and so I've been doing courses, especially with travel opening back up and everything, learning with Babbel will get you familiar with the language before you even arrive. So make sure you click the link in the description so you can get 65% off your subscription to Babbel right now. So let me see, I'm gonna do an intermediate course right now. Fait de la plongée. I'm gonna do this while we get ready, girl. Fait de la randonnée. Sister, what's going on? Ah. Faire de la randonnée. Period. Don't play with me. You know what I mean? So y'all, I'm like starving, so we gonna have to make this quick, but... <laughs> Like, I'm ready to get there now, bro. But anyways, this is what I'm wearing right now, okay, in the house. I, okay, so I'm gonna be honest. In the relationship, <laughs> I hate how much I have to talk about this relationship in this video. But anyways, but in the relationship, right, because we both were just like really happy together and long story short, when we went out, girl, we didn't dress up. We just wore sweat. We would wear this everywhere, girl. Just me and him. We would wear this all the time. So I kind of got into a very like, I don't like using the word lazy anymore, but I got into a very like, I just don't, I, I just didn't put effort in to like 
looking good because I was like, I'm already looking good, you know, whatever. I look, I'm wearing this, I look good, whatever. But like, I want to put more effort into like, you know, going out for me, you know, like you shouldn't just get cute and get nice or dressed up when other people will see you or when you just go on dates or when you know there'll be somebody out there that may want to try to talk to you. Like, no girl, you should be dressing up for yourself too. So that's why I'm like, I should like actually pick out an outfit and wear something cute. Nope, let's get excited about it. We're going to wear something cute. <laughs> I want to wear something cute. Um, the only thing is y'all, I lost a lot of weight and my body has changed so much and I can't fit 80% of my clothes. I'm not even exaggerating, probably 90, like I cannot fit. So I pretty much wear the same things over and over. So today's outfit is gonna be cute for what I can wear, okay? Because I'm trying to look at what I could possibly wear. These are like my bottoms. Uh, I had to like give away so much clothes. Um, okay. Let me see. So what are we gonna wear? We're going to wear, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, so I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe I should pick a shirt first, that could help. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm thinking. Okay, I'm thinking this shirt, this is a Jack Moose shirt. It's just a long sleeve. It's a t-shirt, it's cute, it's simple. We're gonna go with this because I don't, I'm like, what else could I wear? I could wear this, but I will have to clean them Jordans. I'm gonna try two outfits. We're gonna do two outfits and see what that gets. Okay, um, get the Bottega boots. <sighs> okay, okay, let me see. I, I gotta clean my shoes, girl. It's a lot I gotta do. It's always something, girl. Always something you gotta do, girl. Okay. We got this. We can wear this with that. And then we got our pink shirt. I like that pink shirt because it's like, it's it's warm, but at the same time, you could wear this in hot weather. Okay. Um, that's not cute. That's just throwing something together. Um, I can wear my white jeans. My white jeans would that would be, that's a lot going on. I don't know, that's too bright. I don't know, I don't know if I like that. Cause I haven't tried these ones in so long, but I mean, they fit. And you know what's so funny? I always saw like skinny dudes wear like pants like this. And I thought it was just so they could like show off their body or something. But like, I'm noticing, y'all can't fit y'all pants, girl. Y'all need to buy some more pants. Your pants should be up here, girl, on your waist. And look at this. That's, yeah. This is kind of sickening though, I will say. This is kind of sexy, girl. This kind of it. I like this though. I see why y'all do it. Okay, it does all. Okay, so it's time to do the face now. I'm not gonna do too much on the face because one, I love natural beauty and my natural beauty looks amazing. So, you know, like, I would date you like this. Like, you know, I am dating you like this. Like, you look good. You could go bare face, period. But like, we're just doing this for the effort, you know, like, this is, a, like, if we went out, we would put on a little something, girls. Like, you know, like, let's do that. Cause like, we doing that for ourselves right now, not for other people, you know what I mean? So let's do that. I'm gonna put on a little concealer, and this is like really quick. This is Fenty's Pro Filter, and I'm 410. Should I go get another um, color match? Because, there we go. Just, just a little bit of concealer, you know, just in those spots. You know, I'm actually excited for today. You know, like outside of like me filming it and everything, this is, um, it was actually a part of my fear as well. Like, like the guilt that you have after, after a relationship, like after being that deep in love and in a relationship, there is this guilt afterwards where you're like scared to move on. It's like, how could you move on? You know, like you invested so much into this, you saw so much with this person or in the future. And it's like, you kind of feel bad to like find your own life again. I don't know how to, maybe I should just speak for myself instead of a general sense. But um, I realized that I was just, I, I felt, I don't know, like, I kind of wanted some things to just like stay with that relationship and because I just didn't want to be reminded of it. And I felt, and I realized that in that, I was avoiding 
and also in some ways in denial um, that the love happened, uh, you know, all of the bad things happened as well. And it's like those things can exist and you can still be in this new life, in this new world, getting to know yourself and love yourself. And those things can still be present. It's kind of like I was trying to compartmentalize and put it in a shoebox and put it under my bed. Like this restaurant I'm going to today, like I was kind of like, just, I was kind of just never going to go again. I was just like, I just want to go. I don't want to go because it's just, you know, like that was a thing when I was with him and I'm not with him anymore. So it's not a thing anymore, but it's like, I love that. I love that restaurant. I love that restaurant. <laughs> and it's good girl. So like, I feel like you should not like have to keep stuff from yourself because you're afraid to feel. Mm. Hmm. And I understand when it's different when it's triggering, you know, and it's bringing you back to a dark place. That's different. But, you know, if you're avoiding something because, you know, well, I don't want to avoid something because of like, because honestly, if I still feel that pain and that in the same way that I did in the beginning when it first happened, it's like you didn't actually heal and you, you don't actually forgive him. I just don't want to close myself off of things. And I don't like living in a limiting mindset. I like living in an abundance. Um, and by living in abundance, I want to be able to give myself and to experience the things that I like without it coming with pain. Um, and first I have to heal in order for that to happen. And this is a part of my, this is a part of my healing process, you know, going and experiencing it again alone and enjoying it and knowing like, oh, I can, I can enjoy this in this restaurant without him. Like I don't, I don't need him to be happy and I don't need him to be here for this food to be good. <laughs> um, and I don't need him to be here for this to be a good experience. Um, and so I'm excited, I'm excited. Boom, that's all we need, perfect. Very simple, very simple, very quick. It gave very five minutes, you know, that's that's all we're doing, because I'm starving. And I've been trying to be really intentional about like being neat, because I am not a neat person, like I like things to be neat, like I'm very, like this, you know, like, but this takes a lot of effort. I don't know, so I feel like it comes natural to a lot of y'all, and it is not natural to me, girl. I have to like choose, <laughs> like I have to choose. Okay, so let me iron these pants. So this is the final look. This is cute. It's giving, I don't know. It's giving what I'm wearing. I don't even know, girl, I do not care. I look amazing. I will talk to you. I want to ask you out to dinner. I am asking you out to dinner, period. Will you go to dinner with me? Yeah, let's do it. And for scent, I think I'm gonna do, I always mix, but I love, this is like, Y'all, please. This is my fave. It's so slept on, but it's Le Labo and it's Jasmine 17. This is my girl. My only thing is, I wish she was a little stronger um, and lasted a little bit. Well, she probably does. I think, you know what it is? I just get more compliments on an, on other fragrances that I use. Um, so I'm like, damn, maybe she's not strong enough. Or maybe people just like the other one more. And that's okay. I like this one the most for me, okay? Um, but I'm gonna mix that with this Mugler. This is Alien. Um, just a, I don't know. I feel like the Mugler gives it another, like I'm older, more. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a fragrance person, girl. Don't ask me to use those terms. You know, I don't know. You know, savory wood and cheer. I don't know, girl. It's just, I like how it mixes. Okay, so Jasmine and Mugler. And I'm just gonna wear my Apple Watch. Oh, I need to put on some lotion, bro. For lotion or moisturizer, I'm gonna use this Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body 12% AHA and BHA for surfing. Uh, look, this is what I'm using, okay? Pharmacy. <laughs> girl, you remember back in the day, they would have you read the whole title, girl. I will put it in the description. <laughs> you know, this is not a review. This is just something I'm putting on. I love this. I love this. It smells amazing. 
If you love honey, if you love the smell of honey or just the t everything about honey, I love everything about honey, then you will love Pharmacy. Like their products, oh my gosh. And they're so nice, they feel so good. Okay, so that's it. I'm so happy, I'm so ready to get out of this house. I'm ready to eat. Uh, I completely forgot to get a bag. I was like, do I wanna wear a bag? I don't know, do I wanna wear a bag? It was gonna be this bag, right? It's so cute, you know? It goes with the brown and the buttons and then the gold matches like the gold on my, you know, period. Like it's cute. This is so cute, you know? Put on your shoulder like this. You know, what's up, what's up, what's, what's it giving? Where, where are we going? Oh, this is really cute. This is really cute. I think I'm gonna wear this. I was for a second not gonna wear it because I also wanna bring my laptop because I may go to the beach after brunch, but I can just put that in my trunk. Ooh, see girl, let me not say that on camera, girl. Oof. Ah! Actually, we're gonna leave that at home. <laughs> we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave that at home. And let me give you the deets. So this shirt is actually, I forgot. This shirt is, I'm gonna put it in the description. I completely forgot where I got this shirt, but I'm going to put the brand um, in the description. These pants I got from a thrift store in LA. Um, they thrift stores here be having some cute stuff, girl, but a lot of them be like vintage stores. Um, but I, I don't even know which one. I think I got this from one on Melrose. I'm gonna put it in the description as well. Um, and these are Jordans. Y'all know Jordans, right? And this bag, um, it's it's a dupe. So it's not Bottega, okay? Um, you wanna know a fun fact? I, if it's cute and it's a quality as well, like this is just a cute on the run bag. Like you see, I'm just going to brunch. This is actually from Zara. I don't like dupes or knockoffs or replicas, whatever you wanna call them if they look cheap and like extremely, like you are trying really hard. Like don't try to get me to wear a Fendi sweater where the Fs are a little bit longer than the actual F. I don't like that. I like, if it's gonna be something that looks like, like let it be cute, like this. Like this just looks like a cute bag. Like of course it's inspired by Bottega if you know fashion, but it's not. If I see something cute, and it's like this, and it's not like a very obvious knockoff, I will try her out. I will. That's just me. You ain't gotta be like me, girl. It's what you wanna wear. But that's like how I decide on like things when it comes to like clothes and stuff, because honestly, a lot of this stuff is taken. Like even some of the high fashion stuff that we love, they took that from a smaller designer. So it's like, it's just taking back and forth. So I'm all about quality and integrity, girl. Like, don't come out here putting two C's that look the same way and calling it Chanel, girl, but actually it's pronounced channel. I'm not wearing that, you know what I mean? That's different. Uh, mm -mm. No, mm -mm. I'm gonna be really honest, y'all. I'm kind of scared because uh, I've just never been here. Well, I have. I, I haven't been here in a very long time, single, and I'm nervous. Um, and also, what if he's there? Y'all, what if he's there? What if he's there? Okay, I'm going to drive and I'm going to get back on camera when I get there. So y'all, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. On the way here, I got into some things. And so I'm like with, you know, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm outside the restaurant and I got here 40 minutes ago and I just never got out the car and we about to go eat, girl, because I'm starving. I'm really starving, but like I told you, we got into some things. So I don't, I get distracted, girl. So yeah, let, let me, <laughs> give me two minutes. <laughs> We're here on the closest yeah, clear, bitch, he's not here. Period! Like, bitch, we can breathe. Guys, this is so funny because like, I'm like actually nervous. Yeah, guys, I'm nervous. What am I nervous about? Um, one, that yes, I am on a date right now. But at the same time, I'm just nervous that my ex is gonna walk in here any moment. <laughs> Like at any moment. Because like we both love this place. And like what if this is the day that he chose to take it back for himself as well, you know? Or what if he 
has been coming here and it's not a bigger as a big of a deal. See look, this is a not this is not about him. Okay? But I'm gonna keep this part in because this is re this is reality. <laughs> but it's about reclaiming. So we're here alone now. We love this restaurant, it's so cute. It's so good. Okay, so y'all, let me put y'all on. This restaurant is called Blastery, right? Thank you. How long have you been working here? How long have I been working here? Mm -hmm. Not very long. Okay. Like a month and a half. Why, okay. do you not recognize me? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I come, I, I'm coming here for a long time and I just usually know everybody, but I was like, oh, I haven't. My name's Nikolai. Nik Nikolai? Yes. Tariq. Tariq. Nice right. to meet you. Wonderful. Well, let me know if I can get you anything else. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna look at the menu. See. Okay, here, let me get you. Um, yeah. Like maybe something's different. Oh, we are on a brunch menu. Right? Ooh, yes. Thank you. Absolutely. We're gonna make a toast. Yes, let's make a toast. Tariq, I love you. I thank you for putting me first. And dating me and choosing me. Me not being the last resort, but me being the first choice. I love you. Yes. So y'all, these are the garlic nook. See? I would never leave you lead y'all astray. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? The plate is hot, bitch. Oof. They want you to know it's fresh. And then here are the garlic parmesan fries. Let me get it in the sun. Let me get it in the sun. The garlic parmesan fries. Oof. And then, uh, thank you, darling. Uh, the French toast. Yes, I got all of this food for me, okay? It's a lot of food. <laughs> But I'm on a date with myself, okay? Dinner for two. Mm. Mm. <laughs> y'all don't get it. I would sit here and let y'all watch me eat this entire meal, but I want to be here with me. Like, really? Seriously? So, I'll see y'all after. Been good. You've been good. Um, when was the last time I saw you? I'm not sure. It was months ago. But yeah, it's been a while because I know I didn't see you for the holidays. And you did. Like, you know what happened? I went through a breakup. No. Yeah. I know. I know. That was the reason I haven't been here. Like, because you know, I used to be here. Yeah. And we would always come together and then I stopped. Yeah, that's why. Right. Because he hasn't been here, I'm sure, probably. No, he hasn't. I think we've both been avoiding here. This was our place. Yeah, yeah. Because we, I already knew your orders and everything. Oh, no, don't tell me that. I'm I so know. Sad. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> God. Oh, no. No, no, it's so okay. No, I feel bad I'm, asking how you were. No, it's fine. No, literally, that's literally what this is about. Like, Cause this was my favorite restaurant and I, I haven't been here because of that. Because of but like that. I was like, I need to reclaim. Yeah, like I loved this no, place before you know, we were a thing, so. You have to yeah. let things go. Sorry, <laughs> make new memories here. Don't worry about that. We'll make sure you make new memories. You feel bad, don't you? I do, it's like, I feel it's so bad. I was like, that. I was like, I It's literally got okay, I promise. You know, and it, it was so funny because I, I was, that was the first thing that came to mind. Like, where's your wife, really? And I was like, oh, you should come together. But then, you know, I was like, you know what? Let me not ask that. It's not, it's not my business. It's so okay, it. yeah. But no, it's... But I'm happy you're, yeah. you're having your recovery. Thank you. Thank you. You said it like I was in surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know what you call it. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. I was like, honestly, I was like, you're moving on. You're rebounding, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I came to say. I was like, it's okay. But then I was like, how do I stay in a nice, like, way? I feel your heart. So that's <laughs> all. I know. Because I know it's weird because, like, we always came together. So. Yeah, that's how I was like. That's why that was the first thing that came up. Yeah, but, you know, that's yeah. life. Yeah, that's that's love, yeah. you know? It all happens. We don't hate each other, so that's good. That's good. So it, was, it wasn't that. Yeah. It wasn't a messy thing. Oh. You know, I'm going to stop asking. You know what? I'll let you be... Uh, We're healing. We're healing. You know? Uh, no rush on your track, okay? Okay, no. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so y'all, I did not eat all my food. I put my salmon 
um, and my noodles, my garlic noodles, I put that entree to go. I was like, ooh, this would be good dinner. So the goal was to, okay, so I did French. That was me claiming that for me again. Um, then I did the restaurant. Um, and now I wanted to go to the beach, but I'm gonna be honest, it would be really nice to go to the beach and to see the sunset, it would be cute for the video. But um, I'm here for me today, um, and I honestly just don't feel like the parking at the beach is just never fun. And if you do, if you want it to be fun, you pay a lot of money. I'm not trying to spend thirty dollars on parking right now. Um, <laughs> like I don't know. There's this massage place by my house. It's between this. I either can go home, run a bath for myself. I'm getting my favorite ice cream tonight. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. See, I'm going to go get a massage and then afterwards, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods, get my pint of Jenny's. Yes, a fucking pint, because I want a pint and I deserve a pint. So I'm gonna get a pint of my favorite Jenny's ice cream and then when I go home, I'm gonna run me a bath and when I get hungry again, I'm gonna eat my garlic noodles with the salmon, my ice cream, and then I'm gonna watch Euphoria because it comes on tonight. That is a perfect day. That's luxury. Oh, wow. That sounds wow. I will see y'all at the massage place. See, and this is how you know I'm a regular at all these places because I came in here, right? And I was like looking around where to put my bag and I thought she, I think she thought I was lost. But she was like, you've been here before. And I was like, yeah, girl, like you. <laughs> I love that. I love like being a regular at places. I don't know, it just makes me feel like you know, this is my routine, this is my life. Like, I'm taking charge, like, what's up? So I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm happy that I'm reclaiming my space. Yes, girl, it don't look like much, okay? And these be the places where they really get into your back. Y'all wanna go to them cutesy spas with the waterfalls on the, on the side, but the person doing your massage started two years ago. These girls, what? And that's why I tip them super good. So I'm going to, oh, let me go to the bathroom first and then I'm gonna get naked, girl. And I don't even know if I'm gonna record the massage cause I wanna really be relaxed and I don't wanna have to stop it to cut off the camera. Girl, I'm here for me. I'm letting y'all witness, but I'm here for me. Okay, so let me go use the bathroom. So y'all, I can't record, they just told me and I'm respecting my sister. So can't record it, y'all won't see her getting into my back. But I'm gonna let y'all know how it was. Ooh, I'm excited. So I just got the massage and you know it was good because I sound like Janet Jackson. And you know, I'm so happy. It was amazing. I enjoyed myself. Um, Tipped really well. My girls did that. They got in my back. Um, now I'm about to go to Whole Foods, get my ice cream. I may buy some cookies too. I may. And that's my business. So I'm gonna get some ice cream, get my Jennies, go home. I may get in the bath, I may not, depends on how I feel. The bath will be amazing. You know, the bath will be amazing. But we're gonna see. That's what we're gonna do right now. Okay guys, so I just got home. My baby is like, where have you been? I don't have the energy to run a bath, so I'm not doing that. But <laughs> I'm just like really tired. And I feel really bad because he's a puppy and I haven't really played with him today, so. I'm gonna eat my ice cream, my Jenny's ice cream, and, and then I'm probably gonna go to sleep really early and edit this video tomorrow. So, I love you guys, but bye guys.